All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Rome. So this video was not planned, but after a very long and tedious texting uh, episode, I want to demonstrate again how the um, color action works in Photoshop. So here I am on the Pixel website, and I found uh, a couple of photos. Here's one of a young lady. Um, let's get some info on the photo. Okay, so looks like it's about 11 meg. Um, about 11 meg. Um, it's, it's a pretty decent size photo. So it looks like it was shot at 85 millimeters. So that's going to be good for depth of field and all that. You know, nice portrait stuff. So here are some other photos on the site. But this is the one that I chose. I downloaded this image and we're going to go over to Photoshop. But before we get to that image, which is this one here, I have a few others that I also downloaded just to see what the result would be. Okay, so here's the first image. We're going to go into Filter, Neutral Filter, and wait for it to load colorize and see what it gives us wow wow look at that okay let's adjust the artifacts just a touch i'm going to bring the saturation down a little bit and just open So from black and white to color. So obviously, uh, if we look at the information about the photo, uh, obviously it's an RGB and it's an 8-bit file that I downloaded. So this is what it did. It brought the color back probably from the um, metadata that was saved within the file. So interesting. So let's move on to the next photo. So here we have this guy, just kind of chilling, how we do. So we're going to go back, filter, neutral filter, colorize, wow. And again, it's not a hundred percent, I see some color casting, but Easily enough, you know, you could easily adjust a lot of this out. So we're just going to open that one. Zoom in. Now, if you see here, if I zoom in, there's some color cast on his teeth. And it's almost like a little rainbow effect that you see going on here. And I'm seeing the same thing in certain parts of the shirt. There's a lot of color casting going on. But like I said, with a lot of these images, um, if the objective is just to get, you know, color into the image, you could always go in and create a mask and just, you know, mask this out. So for instance, you know, let's assume in this is a black and white shirt. Um, you could mask this out, you know, add a, a mask to it and then, you know, just, you know, paint it out. But let's move on. I don't want this video to be very long. Okay. So here's this young lady. And we're going to zoom in. Everything looks normal. So we're going to try the same thing again. Go back to our neutral filter. Boom. Look at that. So now one thing that I did notice is that where there is no color, it mask it out. So what I mean by that is I'm going to turn off this background layer and you'll see what's actually happening here. So as you see it creates a layer each time and it applies the color to the masked areas that it sees you know from the machine learning that it should have color. 
So if we're going close to the eyes, it doesn't look bad. I do see some color fringing, but, you know, easily enough, you know, that could be corrected, you know, with um, a little dodge and burn. Um, or either frequency separation, just depends on which one you prefer to do. Or you could just, um, you know, apply different filters to it, you know, just to kind of give it a certain um, look, if that's what you're trying to achieve. But I think it's pretty amazing that we could go from something so simple to this. Okay, so just so we don't think it's any craziness going on, I'm just going to pick another image. And uh, what are we going to go with? This looks very vintage, right? Okay, so let's go with that one. So let's download that image. And then we're going to open it. Where is that lady? There she is. Let's go ahead and open that in Photoshop. Boom, there's a vintage looking, look like it's something from uh, Mad Men or something like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and filter. This time I actually want to go into the filter uh, itself. Now you see some color casting up here near the top. There's some blue cast. But that's, again, very, very easy to fix, right? As you see what it was masking. I'm not saying it's perfect, guys. I'm just saying it's a tool. So, and like any other tool, it just depends on how you use it, how you can, you know, work it into your, your workflow. And if it's something that works for you, it works for you, you know? And I mean, you think about this, this gives, this opens so many doors, uh, you know, with different things that you can work on and, and create. Because you think about all the images that are out there, you know, all over the web, you know, black and white images that have been, you know, around forever. Now, I don't know if, um, something that was captured, you know, from like, say, black and white film would have the same effect. I, I don't know. But, you know, this is an RGB file. It's 8-bit. And this is what we get. So we go back and look at the previous ones. This young lady here. This dude here. And this. You know. I think it's, 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 it's workable. It's doable. I mean, I could see so many different things I could, you know, use these for and create, you know, different things with. So I'm sure you guys, you know, have just as vivid imaginations as to what you could do with these. All right, guys, so I'm going to bring this video to an end. Like I said, this video was not planned, but I decided to go ahead and do it just so we could discuss these things further. So if you have a use for something like this or, you know, just leave it in the comments, you know, how would you use it? If you're using Photoshop and you didn't know that this even was a part of Photoshop, you know, how will you try to use this going forward in your, in your current workflow, you know, or is that even possible to, you know, use this in your workflow? But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Don't forget, keep washing your hands and take care of yourselves. And if nothing else, create something, post it share it. All right, guys, I will see you guys soon. Peace. I'm out.